What's up tech, it's Josh here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about a protective case for your iPhone 11, and in this case, no pun intended. I always do accidental puns, I don't mean to do the puns, but anyways, in my case it's the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I always like second guess myself if that's the correct name or not, it's such a weird name. I unboxed this case in my iPhone 11 Pro Max cases haul video, so if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down below in the video description. Once I unboxed this, I found out that this thing actually has some pretty cool, high quality features to it. First of all, I like how it feels nice and protective. That's probably my favorite thing about this case. The design isn't necessarily my taste. I like different kind of textures from the backs of those cases like leather and wood or sandstone, just different kind of textures like that. But I know a lot of people really like clear backs. They like to see the back of the phone. It's just you pay all that money for the phone, you wanna be able to see it, right? The case is actually made of a few different materials. You have this aluminum frame. You've got the TPU material on the outside that helps with that grip. And it's got a good grip to it. And that's another thing that's really good about this case is that it never feels like it's gonna fall out of my hand because it's got the ridges on the side. It's got that material that just grips to your hand well. And also you have that clear back. So you got all those materials into one case. It does make it protective. It does look rather stylish. It's got this kind of rugged look to it while also being able to see that back of the iPhone. The things that I like to look for out of a case is that if it's protective, if it's not gonna be slippery, and also if the buttons feel good. So these all have button covers except for the mute switch and also the ports at the bottom. The buttons have a good nice press to it. There's a little bit of extra effort that you have to put to press those buttons. The other thing that I like about buttons are if they have a different kind of texture to them like ridges or bumps, something to help me look for it if I'm not actually looking at the device. So when you're getting used to a new phone, when you're coming from another device, the button layouts are a little bit different from what you're used to. So having those little textures are very helpful for just everyday kind of use. And with that design, the button layouts are not as easy to find as I would like. It's not horrible, and also you will get used to it over time, but just that kind of break-in period, you have to hunt for those buttons for the volume markers just a little bit more than actually with the power button. And it's just a little bit bigger, and you can actually feel the cutout for the power symbol. The cutouts for the speakers at the bottom are nice. The cutout for the power hole, I would think, needs to be just a little bit bigger. For the fact of like when I'm using my DJI Mavic Air in the controller, the cable, the head of it, doesn't necessarily fit nice inside of this kind of hole here. So just for those kind of purposes to where I know that it's not gonna be a huge deal for a lot of people, but it's just something that I wanna share with you because I share with you my experiences with a certain product and that's been my experience. So if I'm gonna be using my drone, I can't use this case with that controller. I have to take it out of a case, which leads me to a next point, which is that this is aluminum. So the first time that I took the case off of the phone, when I was prying it off, I noticed that the aluminum was bending. And so that's something that you're gonna to have to be careful of and something to be mindful of that you don't want to uninstall and install this case on a regular basis. You wanna kind of just leave it on there and not worry about it. But in my case, because I keep on doing this stupid pun, but anyways, in my case, in my situation, I guess would be a better way to put it, I do have to take the case off if I wanna use my drone controller. Just those little things you might wanna think about. So I know I mentioned my drone controller, but you might have a similar cable that you need to connect to your iPhone that that head might be just a little bit too big for this cutout hole. Moving on to the back, it has that clear back like I mentioned and also works with wireless charging. So if you like to use your wireless charger, you're not gonna have any kind of issues with that, which is great. There's some cases out there that are so dang thick that it just doesn't work well with wireless charging. Another cool thing I like about the back of this case is that it doesn't attract fingerprints or any kind of smudges. I've used this pretty much half the time I've had the iPhone because I wanted to really test it out and see what it was like and I've not really discovered that it attracts fingerprints, which is great. So just one other thing that I wanna point out is that this is a nice pocketable device because of those rounded corners. It's a smooth edge while still being grippy in the hand. It doesn't get stuck in your pocket and it's not a pain in the butt to put into your pocket. Now being that this is a rugged case, it is gonna have a little bit of extra bulk to it, but that's kind of to be expected of a rugged case. And I think if you're looking for a rugged case that shows off the back of your phone, has that aluminum texture and feel to it, 
this is definitely a good case to check out. If you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give a thumbs up. Also leave a comment down below about your favorite feature about this case in particular. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Share this video with your friends and family. And until then, stay techy. Anyways, let's go. Let's... If you found that this video was helpful to you, please leave a thumbs up. Also, uh, if you found that this video was helpful to you, please leave a...